Well, that's really the big thing is how does he feel the next two days, right? I mean, we, we know he's going to do that. Four innings, 71 pitches, a lot of just the solo home run, that was it. His return, Frank, is that enough for you to give the Nationals a, a locked-in wild card spot? It really helped their chances. I mean, the National League is so jammed up right now with so many potential teams who can have a big month and get into that wild card position. So if they continue to swing the bats like they're swinging, Scherzer comes back healthy, yes, they have a chance to lock up this wild card. Healthy Scherzer, healthy Strasburg. Healthy Patrick Corbin. You're trying to tell me that those three guys right there aren't going to help get the Nationals into that, into that postseason game. It's a log jam. The Mets are charging. Yep. You know, other great teams are charging. It's going to be a rocky, crazy, shaky month of September because there's a lot of teams involved in this wild card. But I'm just happy to see Max Scherzer doing his thing because he's the difference maker. He is the ace. I just want to see him healthy because they can have a heck of a run after losing Bryce Harper last year. This team has really come together and they're playing great is, baseball. Is this enough to make you feel like he is healthy? I mean, this was the plan all along, just probably to protect him from himself, right? Because we'll go out and throw 200 pitches. But is that enough tonight? Be like, okay, he looked good to me, good enough? Yeah, I think even listening to David Martinez after the game, he said, we got him to 70 pitches. That's what he wanted. I think the biggest thing he said also is how is he going to feel the next day? Right. Obviously, coming back into the ballpark, if he feels good, they're going to move forward. I'm telling you, a healthy Max Scherzer definitely puts them as a favorite for that wild card game for sure. He will pitch an average of once per series the rest of the way. That means there will be safe situations when he doesn't pitch, and he will pitch in non-safe situations if he needs the work. Fascinated by this in a lot of ways. And, you know, we all watch Jansen so closely because he has been probably the greatest closer in the history of the Dodgers, right? But you know, when you look at it, he's having – he's had some moments this year where he hasn't looked quite like himself. So this, to me – Says, A, you're going to kind of keep him regular, right? No three days in a row, none of that. But also, you know, Frank, you're going to keep him out of some safe situations. I, I find this whole strategy interesting. What would be your take on this, what the Dodgers are doing? Well, first, I'm going to let the Dodgers fans relax. That home run he gave up last night to Roddy Tellez, yep. I've seen that kid hit about six of those this year. You cannot pitch him down and in. He really can get the bad head on the inside. Cutters and fastball, yep. he's hit a lot of home runs. But as for Kenley Jansen, he's a proven vet. He has a slow heartbeat because he's used to all these situations. I wouldn't get too upset, but, you know, slowing him down in, in the month of September, maybe they need to because we've seen it over and over in the postseason. They've used these guys for situations that he hasn't done in regular season. So maybe, maybe they've already talked it out. We might need you more in late September, early October that we need you in August with this big league. Well, the reason why this is such a thing, because this is the only thing the Dodgers are struggling with this year. Starting pitching has been amazing. Offensively, they've been amazing. Could have the MVP in their lineup. The back end of the bullpen is the one bugaboo that they've had a problem with. Joe Kelly hasn't helped out. Pedro Baez hasn't done a great job back there as well. And obviously for Kenley Jensen, I mean, it falls on him. He's the one that signed the huge contract to be the closer for the best team in baseball right now. He's got to find a way to get himself back. This might be good. This might be bad. I think from a player standpoint, a little bit, that could chap you a little bit, saying, hey, I'm the closer. Why is somebody else going out there and doing my job? I hope that Kenley knows what they're doing is only trying to help him. And at the end of the season, hopefully it ends up working out. But also they've got two young arms, special arms that they brought up, who could fit in the back of the bullpen, who need more to be battle tested. So maybe that's the plan. That's just to sit yeah. down killing with this huge lead mm -hmm. and, and, and give these young boys a little more seasoning. Well, because it's they need point. It. I mean, Dustin May, they, they, they've already said, I mean, you know, they've already said, hey, they're going to kind of, you know, get him ready for bullpen reps in the postseason. So, so maybe they even throw him in a safe situation. I mean, why not? Why not? He's yeah. got a lot of Top five salad in the show, bro. Let's go. He does. He does have a great salad. <laughs> he's got great weeds, bro. He does have great, <laughs> great weeds. Great, and great he's got weeds. some pretty good stuff, too. <laughs>